Hello and welcome back to our channel, where we discuss the latest advancements in healthcare technology. In today's video, we'll be talking about advancements in artificial kidney technology for chronic kidney disease treatment. Chronic kidney disease, or CKD, affects millions of people worldwide. CKD is a progressive loss of kidney function over time, and can lead to kidney failure, requiring dialysis or kidney transplantation. However, these treatments have limitations, such as limited availability, high cost, and potential complications. This has led to a growing interest in the development of artificial kidneys. One of the most promising advancements in artificial kidney technology is the implantable bioartificial kidney, or IBAK. The IBAK is a combination of living kidney cells and synthetic membranes that filter waste products and excess fluid from the blood, just like a natural kidney. The IBAK is implanted into the patient's body, eliminating the need for external dialysis machines. The IBAK consists of two components. The hemofilter and the bioreactor. The hemofilter is a synthetic membrane that removes waste products and excess fluid from the blood. The bioreactor contains living kidney cells that perform additional functions, such as producing hormones and regulating electrolyte levels. The IBAK is designed to mimic the natural kidney's functions, making it a more effective and safer alternative to dialysis. Clinical trials have shown that the IBAK can effectively filter waste products and excess fluid from the blood, without causing adverse reactions or complications. Another promising development in artificial kidney technology is the wearable artificial kidney, or WAC. The WAC is a portable device that can be worn on the body, allowing patients to undergo continuous dialysis while going about their daily activities. The WAC is small and lightweight, making it easy to carry around. The WAC works by using a peritoneal dialysis fluid, which is circulated through the body using a pump. The fluid removes waste products and excess fluid from the blood, just like a traditional dialysis machine. However, the WAC allows for more frequent and continuous dialysis, which can lead to better outcomes for CKD patients. Clinical trials of the WAC have shown promising results, with patients reporting improved quality of life and fewer complications compared to traditional dialysis. The WAC has the potential to revolutionize CKD treatment by allowing patients to live a more normal life, while receiving continuous dialysis. If you need more information on CKD visit our website at www.kidneytree.com. In addition to the IBAK and WAC, there are also other developments in artificial kidney technology that show promise. One example is the use of stem cells to regenerate damaged kidney tissue. Stem cells have the potential to differentiate into various types of kidney cells, allowing for the regeneration of damaged tissue and restoration of kidney function. Another development is the use of nanotechnology to create artificial kidneys. Nanoparticles can be engineered to mimic the functions of the kidney, such as filtering waste products and regulating electrolyte levels. These nanoparticles can be embedded in a scaffold to create an artificial kidney that functions like a natural kidney. In conclusion, the development of artificial kidney technology has the potential to revolutionize the treatment of chronic kidney disease. The IBAK, WAC, and other developments in this field offer a safer, more effective, and more convenient alternative to traditional dialysis and transplantation. As research in this area continues, we can hope for even more advancements in artificial kidney technology. That will improve the lives of CKD patients worldwide. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. If you or a loved one is suffering from chronic kidney disease and would like more information on the latest treatment and kidney health diet, visit our website today.